welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to follow up on a request that I got and this is a request to uh, yeah, give you more details on how that scene was styled. So this is a tutorial again focusing more on styling rather than technical aspects. Um, the object that you see here is a nucleosome. It is a nucleosome uh, core particle to be more precise uh, with the BDB code 1A OI. So if you would like to redo that scene exactly, you can just download the, um, the coordinate or the BDB file from the databank and go ahead and construct that scene uh, as I did in that case. Um, so what I would like to focus on now is um, materials and the styling of that kind of scene. That means we are going to have a closer look on how to get that kind of transparent um, surface around our DNA in that case and also how to get that plastic look on uh, the protein parts. And for that I'm just going to jump right into our uh, blender scene and before we start I'm just going to show you the basic setup how it is done. So um, you see in the middle of the scene there is just um, yeah, our nucleosome the um, coordinate file was created in Yasara in that case, but since it's a very basic uh, representation that just involves surface visualization, a DNA that is uh, depicted in spheres, and also then just the surface of the DNA, you can also yeah, get the same uh, type of visualization using uh, Chimera or Bimol, for example. The objects in the scene are all separated in that case, um, also the core proteins are separated, that's not necessary, you can also have them imported as one. Um, then the surface of the DNA is a separate object and um, the DNA itself is a separate object. Then there are a couple of other objects in that scene. We have uh, a background which is basically just a blue screen in that case. Then behind that screen there is an icosphere and we have another icosphere that serves as uh, an emitter to give us those fine particles and the icosphere behind the screen are the particles that are emitted. Um, I have a styling tutorial on that as well, how to do that kind of particles that are floating around with an emitter. I'm also going to link that in the info box down below. Good, then let's just jump into it and look into uh, yeah, the materials of our objects. Let's start with the core uh, proteins, so the core particles, and let's see how that material is basically done. It is super simple to be honest, because it's just a basic principal shader with the base color being white and also the subsurface color being white. The only thing that is adjusted is this amount of subsurface and this is turned up to two. That gives you that uh, yeah, plastic-like look with light going a bit into your um, 3D structure rather than just bouncing off of it. A very similar approach was done for the DNA that is depicted as the spheres, so this is this one. Here you can also see uh, it is again a princi principal shader in this case, the subsurface value is uh, way lower, so it's 0 0.2, and I gave it a bit of color. In that case, I uh, decided to go for pink. Any other color that you like is, of course, uh, yeah, great for you. All the other settings are kept the same. In both cases, the roughness is turned to zero as well to have that kind of glossy look. The third object that we have is the surface that is uh, surrounding our DNA, so the coat on the DNA strand, and this is um, uh, a material that is transparent in that case. It is also based on a principal shader, so again super easy to make. In that case subsurface is turned on to one as well. Um, base color is uh, white, subsurface color is white. The most important thing in that case is that you turn down the alpha value. If the alpha va value is uh, 1, your object has no transparency, so I'm just going to change that to see the effect. So if it's turned up to 1, you have no transparency. If you turn it down to 0, 
everything would be transparent. And in that case, we have a value of 0 0.2 to have still a bit of, um, yeah, um, of the object shown, but with a high transparency. In addition to that, I also turned up the metallic value to 0 0.5. That gives that kind of um, soap bubble-like look as well. If you would go even higher with that value, so for one, for example, you see that the bubble gets even more transparent and looks even more like a, like a soap bubble without the colors that you normally get. So 0 0.5 was in the original scene, which gives a bit of that kind of milky look still. And uh, then the last thing that is incorporated here as well is the settings for the camera. In that case, it also involves that of field. Um, for my scene, I used 2 point, uh, 0 0.2, but that of course depends on the, the distance of your camera. So this is really something that you need to adjust depending on your scene. And this is really how simple those materials are actually done. There is one thing that I would like to mention that of course is a, um, an essential part of the scene in general, and this is the lighting. Um, you might have noticed that there are no lights in my scene. However, of course, there is lighting present. I am using an add-on for that. And the add-on is called uh, Pro Lighting Skies. That's a commercial add-on. If you're interested in that, I'm going to leave a link on that in the info box below as well. As I mentioned, uh, it is a commercial one, it is not really cheap, but it is something that I bought, I think, at the beginning when I started with Blender and I use it very, very often because it's very convenient and uh, very simple to use. If you don't want to use it, you can, of course, simulate a similar scene with a couple of light sources as well. Good, so this is really all that is to that scene. As you can see, most of the material, or actually all of the materials, are really easy to, uh, to generate. So it's just playing with the basic settings of the principal shader to create uh, a different looking effect. I hope that that tutorial was again helpful for you, that you found some inspiration on how to style your next uh, biomolecules. And as you saw, if you like one of my visualizations that I post either on Twitter or on Instagram, and you would like to have a deeper look into it on how it is built or how the materials are done, you can always let me know and then I'm going to put it on my list on tutorials and I'm happy to produce that kind of short styling tutorials for you. So thank you for joining and see you in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.